I'm pretty excited. Today I'm going for a dive and I'm bringing friends. I have Amanda and she's coming on her paddleboard and then my friend Brian and I are gonna do some line diving together. I'm so excited. This is what we all look like before we hop in the water. I'm only going on the water. My feet are already cold. This is very bad technique of like, just stay warm before. <laughs> yeah, where are your booties at? <laughs> that got your weights in it. Oh, they... The trick is to get down with me and my board and not end up deep in this mud. <laughs> You're doing excellently. Yes! I did it! I'm a strong independent person! Yay! So we're gonna go out to this little island over here and this one, swim around it, swim down. <laughs> You held your breath a long time. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about being a tugboat? It feels easier than I thought tugging would be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so 
so sorry, YouTube. I don't think I'm allowed to say what I said. of its nest or birthing or coming out of under the ground. It's gross. out from start to finish oh, I know now I know like for like set up and take down like if I were to like blow it up go for a paddle put it away how much time you need add like an hour yeah <laughs> to my planning hey that what is what stinky thing are you running paddle. rolling in growing turkey tail I've started learning the Latin names of some of these medicinal plants this one is Trimedes versicolor and it's called versicolor because the lines on it are all different colors isn't that freaking neat
something special about metal and I think part of it is it is the first indicator of spring and it's been below freezing Celsius again we've had another cold snap and sunshine babies like me just need to believe that it's gonna get warmer and that I've survived yet another winter where are you going little bird are you leading me up the trail into the forest I have been feeling a bit stressed lately I've had so much computer work to do and I still do and I was just staring at a computer all day and I was like you know what I just have to get out. I have to go stretch my legs, go outside, I put my big jacket on because it's freezing. <sighs> you know, it's freaking beautiful out here. <sighs> I just found. Look. <gasps> oh, this is so special. So, every so often, deer will shed. <gasps> oh. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, how special is this? Wow. Wow. It was just lying here, right here. Deer shed, little tiny deer antlers. It's the time of year when bucks shed their horns. very quickly losing all daylight so I wanted to come for a quick walk before it gets too dark in. It's not supposed to look spooky it's just because it's late at night late in the afternoon I think it's officially too dark to film. Okay. I'll pick you up when I get back home. My time foraging. Hi everybody, I just got back from my walk. And I'm so thrilled. Oh my gosh. So I didn't end up picking too many nettles. But look at this. Oh, it is just beautiful. You can even see like the scratch marks where it will have rubbed its horns on things going through the forest got little shiny points on the end it was just on the forest floor ah. it's quite heavy too oh it's so special ah oh, so special isn't that amazing color oh, nettles make me so happy they just have such a beautiful smell and I associate this smell with spring and excitement. I'm brave and just lose my sleeve.
I'm gonna say farm to table. This is like forest, forest to plate. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. It's like a little bit crispy. Um, a little bit moist and delicious. Like, oh, you thought winter was over. Oh. They have a dolly for you. Me too. And what is this exactly? This is a fireplace for my new big van because I'm going to sell mystery with the fireplace in it so that it's worth more. I like how there was the beeping in the background as you backed up with your fireplace. <laughs> with your legs nice boom grizzly, grizzly. <laughs> we're the worst at high fives on camera <laughs> my current van when we put drawers and I had somebody helping me who had installed drawers before so this is my first time installing drawer slides completely by myself fun and by fun, I mean really complicatedly tricky. Are you coming to visit? Look, I made a box. Hey. You inspecting the drawer construction? Yeah. Look, there's even instructions. Yeah. Instructions. Can you help me understand the instructions, Punky? Yeah. Yo, yeah, she's the cutest cat. <laughs> Look at that little tail. Yeah. It's my this is for my first draw. Drawers are difficult to make because they have to be square and in line and the right size to fit with the sliders. So wish me luck. I think I've got it right. I'm just gonna screw it together and see what happens. who doesn't know or isn't skilled at carpentry, building square or straight, not my specialty. Look at this. Yay! <laughs> oh, it works. Oh, I'm so pleased. Yay! Ta-da! It's a giant drawer. It's gonna be filled with pantry, dry goods. I'm so thrilled. And they extend all the way. 
Woohoo! Yay! Band builds can often be overwhelming when you hit a project that's really important, it has to work. There's some I haven't done it before kind of vibe. This is one I've kind of done before, but I did it with somebody's help. This is the first time I've done it by myself, putting on draw slides and making boxes. I'm very relieved how well it turned out. It feels like now that I have that job kind of almost finished, it's gonna be much easier to tackle some of the smaller, like easier to do jobs because I'm not feeling like I've got one big hurdle to overcome. Woohoo, so relieved. Progress is happening. I really wanted to focus on the jobs that made it possible to move in here sooner. The next one will be finishing the ceiling because finishing the ceiling means putting in the puck lights through the ceiling tiles, cutting holes and those things feels a little daunting. But once the ceiling is all up, the lights are on, we'll be one step close to all my electrical system working because it will all be finished the, the lights will all be finished wired, wired in. The lights will have been all wired in and finished. Um, yeah, it's tackling jobs one at a time. <sighs> but I am tired today. Didn't know it would take a whole day to make three drawers for my countertops. Ah! This is where I'm at. The countertops are on, but I have to just now remove it because I'm putting in these sliding drawers here and I need to do the straw slides and I can't screw them on without coming in from the top. So this is all gonna come off so that I can screw the last metal drawer slide in and then we're good to go. We can put drawer faces on, cupboard doors on, mm, install my heat, uh, hot water heater. So much exciting things! And now I can screw in these draw slides here and here. Now we get to check if that worked. This board in between the two drawers so that when they're all screwed in place, I have that much of a gap so they'll never hit. Look at that! Oh, it slides beautifully. Oh, it needs one more screw. slides are not the easiest thing to do so I'm super proud that I've got all of these done and there's so much food storage in here this is gonna be my main pantry I'm pretty thrilled with how it turned out this one's a little stiffer than the rest but that means it's not gonna fly around when I drive this one's just like butter This is my third time trying to get this third chain light to work. I'm just flick the switch now and see if it works. Yay! It works! So now I just have to finish this crimping.
making sure that they stay connected. Let's see if it works. Woo! Now that all these lights work, we've got to put them up in the ceiling. <sighs> we have lights! Now I can put the ceiling tiles here because the lights are all working and wired in. <sighs> it's a bit difficult to put ceiling tiles up if the lighting underneath and the electrical wiring doesn't work. So um, I've got a couple of other switches on my switchboard that I'm not quite sure the way they're not working. So that's the next job to figure out <sighs> why those lights are not working. Make them work so that then I can do the wiring over above the kitchen. So okay. I've been fiddling with my switchboard and I realized that three of my circuits weren't working and I'm not quite sure, wasn't quite sure why. And then I found on my negative bus bar, this wire that's not complete, completely unattached. So I'm going to put a new little end cap on it. I think this is still a heat shrink, but it may just be a crimp. You can put it all back together and see what happens. Screw it all back together. My negative bus bar will be a complete circuit again, and the three circuits that weren't working earlier hopefully should now work. <gasps> Yay, that one works now! Yay, that one works now! Yay, that one works! Oh my freaking lights work! Can you see how bright it is in here? There's a, like a light there, a light behind you, a light on the fire. Well, there's a water pump line, but I attached a light to it just so I can make sure I know it works. They all work! Woo now that I've made all my lights work, now I can finish putting up the rest of the ceiling tiles. Huzzah! Oh. You know, I was a bit nervous there that some of these circuits had been broken or that maybe I'd pierced a wire when I was building, but all is well! The circuits have survived building! Now I can put the rest of the ceiling up! Yay! As you can see, I'm sitting in the dinette space. Here is a whole lot of boards for the ceiling that are still waiting to be varnished. I built the wall to the wetsuit room and the fireplace is actually now in its position, I've still got to get some tiles to go underneath it. Um, the fireboard is up, the wall between the wetsuit room and the fireplace is insulated. So much has happened, I'm so proud, and yet it feels like I've done a whole lot, and yet very little all at once. Today, I just about finished the uh, pantry drawers that go underneath the kitchen sink slash countertop. If you're really enjoying the step van build, I really appreciate you being here. Please comment your favorite thing down below or some suggestions or some questions. I'd love to answer more questions about my step van build. Please comment those in the uh, comment section below. Um, gives me questions to answer for the next video. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It really helps. Thanks so much for all your support. I'll see you all next time.